you going to do some yoga, Maxters? Oh, I have lipstick on you, don't I? I'm sorry. Look at your pink little beak. You going to give yourself a massage? Welcome back to Love Your Parrot. Today I have exciting news for you. I wanted to do a video on our newest parrot surrender story. And here's the cutie right here. Oh my gosh, you're so adorable. Mac is a yellow collared macaw, which is considered a miniature macaw. As you can see, his size is much smaller than my Ruby, who is a green wing macaw. And I have Cairo, who is a Catalina macaw. And of course I have Molly, who is the largest in the macaw family. And she is a hyacinth macaw. So Matt came to us in September. His previous owner was moving. He considered for months whether he was gonna be able to give Mac the care that he needed. We had conversations through my rescue for many months before he actually brought him to us. We took in Mac. When he came to our rescue, he was quarantined, given a pretty good bill of health, except for that he was overweight. We are changing his diet to the natural Supreme pellets. And I also love the Topps organic cold pressed pellets. I will post those links below in the description of those two pellets that I use for my flock. Now he is on the typical bird feed diet, Mac. He does say his name, Mac. And so being on that sunflower seed diet his whole life, he's very picky. He will not eat fresh fruits and vegetables for me right now. He does like the raw almonds, the raw cashews, the pistachios, all of the nuts that I feed my birds that are unsalted raw, given that that is going to give them the best nutrition for the fatty acids that are good for them. In due time, I am confident that he will start eating the bird pellets to get himself healthier. Just like Tawny, the double yellow headed Amazon of mine, she now eats two different kinds of pellets, the tops and the natural Supreme. I'm so proud of her. It's a process to transfer your bird over to pellets. And what I do is I take the diet that they were on and that they're used to, and I give that to them in the morning. And then I take that entire bowl out by 2 p.m. and they have the whole rest of the day with the pellets to try. I only put a little bit in because that way you're not wasting it because they are expensive. But with that method, it really has worked every single time for every single bird of mine that I have brought into my rescue. If you have questions, comment below. I definitely am here to help you convert your bird over from the typical sunflower seed diet to a healthier pellet. Pellets should never be the only staple of your bird's diet. They need to have fresh fruits and veggies, and I'm hoping that you will start eating your peas and your apples and your bananas and your quinoa. Are you gonna do that for me, Mac? Are you gonna start eating good for me? What do you think? Hmm? Yellow collar macaws are so curious. They're very mischievous. They're known to be kind of sneaky and naughty, but you know what? Aren't all birds and all macaws? Yes, and as you can see, he's so nice, but I'm not gonna reach my hand up to pet him because he doesn't like it. I'm not sure what happened in his past, why he doesn't like hands. We're gonna work with it over time so that he will trust us and hopefully get adjusted to our hand coming up to his head or his chest to have him step up. Right now, he kind of just flaps out of the cage when I go to get him because he does not like the hands. So he does a gentle glide. I'm able to step him up for a minute and he immediately goes to my shoulder. So Mac is not the smallest in the macaw family. The Hans macaw is the smallest macaw, but he is at 15 inches from head to tail pretty tiny. So I have him on my shoulder. We did try a bird harness. 
He did not like it. He started pecking out with his feathers and plucking a little bit. A few weeks after we got him, we were trying it on him. So we're gonna wait and see if he can get adjusted to the birdie harness in due time. It takes many months once I adopt a bird to get them adjusted and used to our schedule, our food, our environment and the noises and all of the things that we do on a daily basis with our birds. So it takes them up to a year for these birds to get adjusted. Typical time is usually two to three months. They really start coming along, letting us um, get them out. But each bird is an individual and they are all different. Depending on the species, the background, the history of the bird, what they've gone through already, each bird is an individual. So when we adopt these birds, it takes a long time sometimes to get them used to this new life. Yellow collared macaws can be very good talkers. As always, you never wanna buy a bird just because of the fact that you want your bird to talk because it's never guaranteed. And Matt does say a couple words, but he's not an avid talker. He has not been DNA sex, so we don't know if Mac is a boy or a girl. We will have a DNA party with Molly, Mac, and Mikey, our three birds that we have adopted this year. What do we think you are, Mac? I always advocate that you call your local Humane Society and ask if there are any bird rescues in your area if you are looking to adopt a bird. You have to research all the species to see which one is the best fit for you. It takes up to a year to get all of that research done to make a confident decision on which bird is going to be the best for your family. It's so, so sad. How many birds are being sold and then literally they're just given away. Every single day I get calls for birds that need to be surrendered. It literally, it, it just puts that pit, that sickness in my stomach every time I get another message, another excuse of why they think that my home is gonna be better than their home, which a lot of times it is going to be better at my home because these birds come with rusty cages, dirty cages, small cages, the worst kind of perches you could ever imagine for a poor little bird's feet, that they're on their feet all day long. There's so much that goes into education. So please, if you wanna get a bird, watch my videos, watch other YouTube bird videos so that you know how to properly care for a bird before you actually get the bird. Because I'm telling you right now, y'all, it's exhausting. It's exhausting every single day. My heart just pulls and tears because I can't take all the birds for my rescue. I live on a homestead. I've got lots of other animals that I take care of. I've got children that I take care of and educate. And quite frankly, I just can't keep up with all of the messages and calls. So I refer them to other rescues in my area. And I really, really pray for each and every one of those birds that are getting surrendered. Are you happy, Mac? All right, one thing that he does like is popcorn. So I'm gonna show you this clip. It was so cute of him eating his popcorn. It's an unsalted organic popcorn that I give my birds as a treat sometime. Enjoy, I hope you got to learn a little bit about yellow collared macaws. They're not rare, but you don't see them very often. They are not on the endangered species list, but in the pet trade world, we really don't see them very much like we used to in the 80s and the 90s. They're not being bred as much, thank goodness, because they really require a lot of attention. They're very affectionate birds overall. Now this little guy, his owner thought that he wasn't very nice, so he didn't really get to come out of the cage too often, but as you can see, he is just a little ham. And you don't get to pick the bird most of the time. The bird is going to pick you. So always remember that too, guys. I love you. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, comment below. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. I do have plans to be uploading a little bit more on my channel. Every day is full of fun and busyness here on my homestead and 
My parrot rescue is just crazy with cleaning and feeding and playing with the birds each day. So if you don't hear from me for a couple weeks, it's because I'm just busy with life, but I do have lots and lots of new videos coming up for you. You wanna show them your yoga? Oh, did you just go poopy? All right, so Mac also has a talent. He loves to do yoga. He puts his foot up kind of by his head. I'll show you that clip too. It's super adorbs. Are you going to do some yoga, Maxters? Oh, I have lipstick on you, don't I? I'm sorry. Look at your pink little beak. You going to give yourself a massage? <laughs>